director, and I'm joined by Jeff Rowe, the comedy director for Leicester's Comedy Festival. How are you, Jeff? Hello, I'm all right. How are you? Yeah, good, good. Now, you've come to talk to us about uh, an exciting day you've got coming up at the end of November for Fit and Funny, the People's Millions. Can you tell us a little bit of uh, what's going on? Yeah, we've been uh, shortlisted for a lottery grant, a £40,000 lottery grant, uh, which, if we're successful, will uh, allow us to run laughter clubs across the city of Leicester. Uh, the laughter clubs will do two things. One is that they'll train local communities, local individuals in stand-up comedy and performance, um, but also there'll be uh, centres for performance of general comedy shows. So uh, that'll happen across the city of Leicester. But we will only be successful if we get more public votes on the 24th of November than the nasty scout troop from Warwickshire, uh, who we're up against. I'm sure they're not nasty, really. They're probably lovely. But um, uh, we're up against them, so they'll be getting their people to vote for... uh, doing up their scout hut and we want people from Leicester to vote for us. Okay. Now on the actual day, what, what sort of time take have you got? I know you can't give a lot of it away because you've got a few specials up your sleeve, but what's the format? Are you, are you going to go out on the road? Are you going to go to schools? Will you be in the town centre? Just tell people, kind of start making people aware of where you're going to be and the sort of things you need to be looking out for. Yeah, it's really tight. Um, we get the phone number for people to vote at people to phone at 7 o'clock in the morning and then from 9 o'clock in the morning till midnight people can vote. Uh, An individual can vote up to 10 times each. So what we're going to be doing is going across the city of Leicester with um, uh, various comedians doing various stunts. Uh, We basically want to gather as many people together at any one time to vote en masse. Um, and there'll be a, yeah, quirky elements to it and we're doing that at the moment so we're planning where the comedians are going to go throughout the day it'll be basically areas where there's lots of people so uh, if you have lots of people we want to come and visit you on the 24th of November so can people actually contact you now to say look on that day we normally have this amount of people together it might be like a school or a college or it might be a workplace and they say if you sort of parachute in quickly with a uh, these things you've got up your sleeve and do something then we've got a mass group of people that can vote yeah that would be great I mean the key thing is there's got to be lots of people and they have to have the capacity to make lots of votes Uh, and if they can do that yeah people can contact us and um, we'll come and visit you on the 24th of November if you were successful, fingers crossed, hopefully you are. Yeah. You know, um, those horrible Boy Scouts, I'm sure we love them really. Um, <laughs> what's the sort of thing that you're looking to do with the Laughter Clubs? Because I'm sure you do a lot of educational work anyway, don't you, with the Comedy Festival? And obviously next year's your 18th year, and yeah. we do a lot of stuff. Um, and certainly next year with Citizens Eye, yeah. commu- community reporters, and covering that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, what would you do with uh, a Laughter Club, for example? What do you think it would be useful for? Well, it works on, I suppose it works on three levels, I, I think. Uh, first one, it's about people having a laugh. It's no more deep and meaningful than that. It's about people having a good time. Um, it's also uh, uh, allowing people to, to stay active and stay healthy and be engaged. Um, you know, there are direct benefits between laughter and being healthy and having a healthy lifestyle. Um, the more you laugh, the healthier you are. So there is an element of that. And also we want the laughter clubs to be as diverse and inclusive as possible. So we don't just want there to be a laughter club for older people or a laughter club for younger people. We want them to be uh, intergenerational, we want them to be diverse in every way. Really. Um, so it's a way of bringing people together. But I think sometimes we forget the fact that it is a fun thing. It's an, essentially for people to laugh and have a good time. So let's not forget that as well as all the other serious stuff. Now, we're obviously looking forward to February next year, the 18th year, as we said. Yeah. Um, what, what can we expect next year that's different from 17 earlier this year in February? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> don't ask me that. That's a really difficult question. You're not supposed to laugh. It was a serious question. <laughs> um, oh, there'll, be lo- there'll be loads of stuff. There's th- over 300, there's 300, at the moment, 340 shows, and we're three weeks away from deadline. So um, there'll be loads, John, and we'll tell you all about it later on. I mean, I... I it's, it's very exciting and it's our 18th birthday and it'll be enormous. And Citizen's Eyes even doing its own show, aren't we? Yes. I volunteered, I seem to remember. You did. You did volunteer and I'm sure it'll be well, we think we're funny. It'll be Drop the Dead, <laughs> drop the dead Donkey style. That'll that yeah. be great, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, so we, you get the phone number, just remind everyone listening, you get the phone number at 7. We get the phone number at 7 yeah. o'clock on the 24th of November and then in every way we can, uh, uh, Facebook, Twitter, uh, local radio, Citizens Eye, we'll all have the phone number if I can make it work by half past seven and then to distribute it to as many people as possible and then we want everyone in Leicester to vote for us. And what, what time does it close in the evening? So even people that are at school and things like that, we don't oh, really encourage them to skip out of lessons to vote but you know, what time does the, the line shut in the evening? It shuts at midnight. 
and then we find out on the morning of the 25th I get a phone call to let me know whether it's us or it's the nasty scouts from Warwickshire. <laughs> Bless them. There we go. Three times we've dissed them. It's terrible. <laughs> isn't it? Jeff, thanks very much. Can you Thank just give you. us a, a website address or a telephone number or an email that people can get in touch with you if they want to organise an event themselves and kind of offer themselves up for you to come and visit? Yeah, the best uh, thing is to visit uh, www.comedy-festival.co.uk. Excellent. Jeff, thanks very much. Thank you, John.